quarterly the amount of money in the supply um um on the uh, in the jamaican market normally when it comes to the end of the year they increase money supply going down to, to, to the christmas period and during that period when they're introducing the new notes you'd hear the the, the the statements from the bank of jamaica speaking about the amount of money in in supply they would have it because they, they easily can do that they do that through the banks so all they do they know that they're going to introduce a batch of um a hundred thousand or fifty thousand five thousand dollar notes which is the, the notes that they started out with first all they do is that the old notes they would withdraw a hundred thousand old notes from the from the supply so there was no increase no net increase in the money supply when those new notes were introduced and as punkus is trying to say the inflation rate that we had um was coming out of covid and if you notice they, 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 even with the introduction of these notes there has been a gradual reduction in, in in inflation from 2020 when we peaked in 2021 at about 12 percent and it has been gradually coming down even with the introduction of these notes so these notes had no impact on inflation any at all what was driving inflation was the disruption caused by the pandemic with shipping rates being expensive and with the, 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 the increase in wheat prices the increase in oil prices all of that that took place in the in, in the pandemic and all of that has pulled back somewhat and jamaica has also seen its reduction in those prices tempered as well so this thing about the finance minister going against economic models and stuff like that nothing like that happened my brother you will see that the the, the inflation rate what has happened i don't know if you notice what they did over the last two years was to increase interest rates and and there was an article that just came out the other day and that is what has brought down interest um inflation an article came out the other day that showed that jamaica's savings has increased between 22 22 and 23 by almost 70 billion dollars jamaicans have more savings in their account and that is what the bank of jamaica wanted they wanted to cool down the economy um and they achieved that by increasing interest rates and most persons chose to save and 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 that is why now they're going to be reducing interest rates now to kind of stimulate back economic activity because we're having okay. a slowdown in the economy so 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 right. you're, so, you're, yeah. you're thinking my brother you're not, you're not correct at all let me, right? okay let me ask a question then so you said the, in, the interest the um the inflation has gone down right yeah yeah yes it has gone down right yes so if that's the case how are we still seeing price increases on a daily and the value of the money continues to deplete what price increases if are you seeing though the only price increases that we're seeing our price increases coming out of the recent um rain episodes that we had the burial as it with, with agricultural prices and the ridiculous peeing that went on with jps because if you notice no no, last... no 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 jalex 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 this is not a, this is not a monologue this is a discussion please please so tell me the price increase if, if the inflation rate moves hold on hold on hold on how the inflation rate rising what i'm saying J J Jalix, yeah? mm -hmm. if the inflation rate has gone down as as what you're saying yes how come we're seeing an increase in everything else but the jamaican dollar no, I don't understand what you're saying. In everything but what? Because they're right, not. So see if I got super, see if I got supermarket. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because if I got a supermarket, but if twenty grand used to used to pick up X Y Z when I got a supermarket, when I got a supermarket this year, is the same thing I picked up last year. I cost thirty grand this year. That's not necessarily so, but remember, no, 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 me, me not ask your brother, yep. tell me, I tell her. Uh, maybe only live in a different Jamaica, I know, but I tell me, I tell you, no, brother. brother. What was driving inflation all, all the time, especially during COVID, was food prices, most of which we import, right? We don't, we have to import wheat to make flour. We have to import a lot of things in this country. Most of the inflation is imported stuff, oil to generate electricity that's what was driving inflation construction materials in the in covid 
went way up. I remember the days that there was there was a time when ply was selling in Jamaica for nine thousand dollars a sheet for 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 farm ply. There's a sheet of ply now. You can get a sheet. You're going up on a tangent. You're going up on a tangent. You're going up on a tangent. No, no, no. I'm talking, I'm talking about, about price increases. I'm, so I'm explaining to you. You can get a sheet of ply in Jamaica now for three thousand five hundred dollars. You can get a, a lint or two before that was four thousand five hundred in COVID. You can get that now for seventeen hundred dollars or sixteen hundred. So, so are you saying? Yeah? It's there food is, prices there has been that are driving the, what that was driving food prices and energy the cost of energy that was driving the the, the, the inflationary um, prices chicken feed all of that stuff fertilizers most of which we import that is what was driving and the fact that we had rain events over the last little period we had, we had a rain event last year that caused some increase in 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 prices. And we had a rain event in Berry. Hold on, 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 hold no man, no during, man. I said during COVID, a, a sheet of ply went up to almost ten thousand dollars, nine thousand something for a sheet of farm ply. And after COVID, after COVID, the price dropped, not true? Yes, man. Which is what I'm saying. But but but, but well, let me ask you this question, Jalix. Right, and you have, you have to reason things out and look at it on a on a on a, a poor man level. Put it that way. There. If you look at it in a in a layman terms, I think that is a form of price gouging, you know. Because that is where they infringe on the rights of the people at their most vulnerable period, in which they know that okay, then go after go get the price, then go after go get that, so them raise the price up. Yeah, man. Remember, I know the shop, shop, the shop, so the item will increase the price too. Yeah, man. There was a so point that, 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 that's a of price gouging, and that's wrong. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, Alex. Hold on. There was a hold disruption on. in. Hold, hold, hold on, Alex. Hold on, hold on, okay. hold on, okay. hold on. Um, you just said. The price of ply went up and it subsequently came down. So as the, the, the prices of food went up and the prices of food did not come down, the question on everybody's lip now is what is the government doing when because of the rising inflation, the price of goods and service especially the commodities which people use on a daily basis has not come down and what does the government do to take the prices of the box of the poor people case in point in 2016 one bread was at 160 dollar the same bread now is 800 dollar so while the price of ply might come down the price of bread has not come down all right. and, and that and, is and, what is struggling the people and that's what i just said a while ago that the six the six point five percent that we are still facing in inflation has a lot to do with food prices as i said most of that is being dri driven by food prices whether agricultural food prices or pri food prices that has ingredients that that we have to import but what has the government done since then you would you notice that the government number one as as we said the government would have come in and the government would have reduced gct that's one of the things and many other taxes the government has actually given the people a break um you will also remember that the government also did a big price reduction um when it comes to property taxes in the night in 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 2017 2018 we're we are stamp duty, stamp duty on, on, on the purchase of property. What percent, what percentage of the Jamaican population owed the reduction of um, property tax? I'm just, I'm just showing you, I'm just showing you a couple of ways. I, I, there are more than one ways. No, 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 no. Let, a, let us keep the, dis, the discussion let me, let me, so let me show and you basic me, food I, item allow, allow me, which has, which, which the question. poor has to use on a daily basis. Allow me to answer Because the my interpretation, if you Mr. own property, then you would be in a position to pay property tax. 
Mr. Beer. That's simple as that. No, no, there, there are a lot of persons that own property, Mr. Beer, that cannot so, afford to sell Zalix, 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 bigger me now. As a person who currently pay property tax, when property tax drop? Let me explain. Let me tell you now. No, let's tell me when no, when no, I pay a price every year. I mean, why tell me when? Yeah. Which year it drop? Give me an opportunity to, to explain, to tell you what I was saying. I was saying in, in, in 2017, 2018, there was a reduction in transfer tax and stamp duty on land purchases. And part of why we seen, we saw the big explosion in real estate in this country had to do with that policy. Where when you, when you, no longer do you have to when you're buying a piece of land no longer do you have to pay Stop. listen up jalex jalex property tax the most you know? scheme we're the most average people that you make up your property tax average that will live our scheme yes. we got a scheme with your property tax when did that fail that may yes, ask yes. allow me to finish allow me to finish two in two ways so I, i'm explaining that so if you if you purchased up um a piece of land for example for five million dollars or you wanted to buy a piece of land for five million dollars under the under the, the, the previous tax you would have to find of that amount about two hundred thousand dollars to pay for stamp duty right after the government's change in the tax that tax was reduced to a flat rate of two thousand dollars so that person would have saved Jalix, listen to man, listen to man. Jalix, you talk something where I want to get me a while. I can't pay property tax. Every year I'm paying property tax. You're not paying a property tax drop. Tell me when it fall. I'm going to see it in my property tax. I just told you, I just told you that it's property taxes on land purchases. There was also a reduction in 20 Property tax different from land purchases in general. Stamp duty and then something different from property. Property tax are your property I live on. My it house, I'm living in the same house. It is still property tax and property Listen now, Jalik. Jalik, we know Jalik, man. Jalik, you know me not. You know my mistakes. I'm going to come back you don't listen. You always want to run with your talking point. Listen to the point. You say the government drop property tax. Me, you will just. I pay a property tax for Claremont Light. And from 2030 till now, my property tax not drop. So more I know when it drop. And every okay, year me so pay. Let me, that that. That. No. let me answer that. Let me answer that. Answer that. The government also increased the threshold. There's a there's a there's a threshold that they use to calculate because after the the new updates to the to the to the property oh, values. You mentioned property tax. I'm asking for one specific. Me ask about property Mr. tax. Now tell me how many grown is there? No, no I'm mean, not answering about property tax. Jalik, stop going on the corner. No, that is what I'm no, going to Jalik, answer. No, Jalik, listen, Jalik, you come here say you say the government drop property tax. Minimum property taxes. Can I don't need to answer the question. You keep on interrupting me. Just let me answer. Let me answer. So I'm saying to you, in 2013, the Well, Jalix, <laughs> Jalix, I want to know when you drop property tax. Wait a minute. How would that, the, what are, what are you recharge? How would that affect the price of rice and flour? That is what we want to know. I'm telling you one way. I'm telling you one way. I'm telling you one way. The point, I'm saying, Jalix, listen to Jalix. Okay, okay, guys. I'm telling everyone. Please. Um, may I interject a little bit? Jalix, um, you're hurting my ears. You're trying to explain something, but you're mixing it up. Property tax, it was not reduced. Stamp duty and transfer tax, that is what you need to explain and not property tax because i think I that is what you're trying to explain hold on what you are trying to explain is the reduction in transfer tax and not property tax at no time has property tax been reduced can I answer that part of the question? I was just no, going to explain. No, I don't want you to answer anything because I you're will. misleading persons who don't understand and you're giving me a headache. And then that's my I wrote a too. Because I'm coming to the property tax and me pay property tax every year, I send my property tax and every year I see money I spend, not a dollar less. For what the last month years. 
I hit me and try to tell you, don't come mix with the stuff you tell trying to regurgitate and he's feeling miserably and making a mock of it is transfer tax. So, I'm going to advise you go back over to NLA. Okay, read what okay. it is. So me, read what it is me. that you're trying to articulate and then come back okay. again. But please. Let, let me explain the other part. What you know. Uh, 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 the, me explain uh, the Alex, other part. We, we don't we don't want to take the discussion into what the government do re prop up the tax. We want to speak on the whole issue of the rising inflation and how it affects the ordinary people of Jamaica and what does the government done to alleviate the problem concerning the, the, well, the poor people whenever time inflation rate go up. Can remember well, you get the government I with inflation I, rate at 2.35. What I just mentioned uh, um, in relation to property taxes is a part of a larger tax reduction policy of this administration right we've seen where during that period you would have seen where the income tax threshold was moved twice was moved this year and it was moved to 1.5 million Jalex, 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 Jalex. sorry 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 but you're, you're monologuing you brother you're monologuing hold on I'm hold on you, I'm because you know, the hold on the man brother, hold on hold on because, because we're talking about inflation no, we're talking about inflation. We're not talking about taxes. We're talking about inflation, right? My, and my brother, what you guys are failing to understand? Inflation. There's not much you can do. No, about no, 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 no. It's not. A, but this is what I'm. Me come and start, me listen to you now. Me listen to you, and me, 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 I'm waiting for you to say something along the lines when would I expect you to say? But brother, you're you're off the mark. You're way off the mark. Let right, me tell you something. Well, lot of things where you, lot of things where you're not looking at, right? One of the main factors of inflation is the currency. One of the biggest hits is the current the Jamaican currency. Now we can see that the Jamaican currency is at its lowest. Now again, I'm gonna ask a question: If inflation is going down, how come these core factors and core elements are still depleting? Me can't understand. Jamaican dollar is going down, down, down. But yesterday, they're saying you. the this inflation is going. The dollar has 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 been stable within a band of five. Don't talk five. rubbish. Do not within talk rubbish. The Jamaican dollar. The past listen, years, listen. The, hold the on, hold on. No, no, no. Move listen, I'm not talk band. rubbish, man. I can't, I cannot talk. I cannot listen, man. The Jamaican currency is at its yeah, lowest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can't you can't just a monologue, brother. The Jamaican currency is at its lowest. If we do a simple example, compare it to. The, the, the US are compared to the pound, brother. It is the lowest it has been at the most. We are by pound fan and most we are by US fan. Oh, you're gonna tell me, said the Jamaican dollar is not down. You're mad. Jalik just wanted to get his governmental point across. Yeah, and that we are so, dealing with Yeah, that. And, and we are not moving away from the fact that. Inflation rate has moved from all on Richard has moved from 2.35 okay, um, to 6.4 now. Okay. Oh, what is the government plan to do? Yo. There is someone, there's someone here that's in the comments that's Hello. in the box. Hello. And he hasn't gotten a chance yet. Yeah? L listen, listen to yeah, me. Really. I'm going to start making people. Yo, some of the people here, you know, let me tell you, you see a platform here, when we start, you know, it's allow people that are regular to come in the box. Some of them people, I'm going to know them, you know, some of them people, it seems that people, I'm going to come and say, disrespect me and behave in a brother. So, yo, unless it's a regular, allow me to bring it up. Bring up the person, please. If it's if it's not a regular, but then still don't in this system, we come and look and say, oh, because some of them know how no, 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 okay, to have a proper discourse. I don't know, say, all right, just, just heal and make a man talk and then, it, no, we don't do that. We don't ramp with them over here. Please and thanks. Unknown is the person named Unknown? Caution. Unknown, are you there? A caution, a caution, a caution. Mm. Oh, sorry. Okay. But caution, do you have something to say? I have a problem. Oh God. Because you see, you see, you see what Jalis came up to do now, and I might just point up, Jalis is a member of the Jamaica Labour Party, for those who don't know. He's a member and he's on his campaign role. Because the question on the table at this time, 
is oh yeah oh the inflation rate as it is now is affecting poor people where goods and services is concerned in particular basic food items because that is what the jamaican people is having a problem with you know basic food item in the same time that they are boasting of a world-class minister of finance and boasting that the country has been in its best shape it has ever been since sliced bread even though the country has not grown over two percent in the last 20 years you understand and and as you richard has asked where the government get his money from if you don't put on no new taxes because the taxes was already put on by the people's national party the government is collecting it but with the movement of inflation then the, the indirect taxation go up so they're collecting more money they are not building the economy the economy is not growing so they are benefit from a larger economy and a growing economy and they are not doing anything but what about taking gct off the price of basic food items? Somebody ask Jalix, please. Jalix, hold on a second. Add back Jalix, please. So he got kicked out. He said he got kicked out. Yeah, but I read it. I read it. Add back Jalix. But look here now. You're the point to me, I try. I'm not going to Hey, brother, listen to me, man. I don't know who not to who that. Why not? 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 I want to be black man. No, I'm not one of them. I want to be black man. I'm not one of the one. He's he's defending labor like you say. Yeah, he hasn't been disrespectful. But he's not cause cause. He's not cause cause and threaten. He's not cause and threaten people. He does some people try to cross forcefully. And and I'm not listening to you. But I am that. I am not. I am not. I am not here to this. We're Jimmy. What happened? So, somebody turned on my mic. We're Jamaicans, and I'm just here to have a conversation. I, that's what we're here for, you know, to have good conversation, to discuss the issues, and to engage with other Jamaicans. Uh, you, Mr. Jalik, you're Jalik, you're the point we are. Request we are. Oh, Stay in the, in the rooms are uh, the, are the food. Oh, 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 it, well, all right. You see, day to day, affecting normal man. You did mention property tax. That affecting normal man. Because everybody have their house, the man like a scheme, put more all in place, they never pay property tax. And that may I tell you that not drop none at all. That not drop. And, and, so when you say you are talking about no matter about inflation with bam food. The inflation bam food. When price like uh, when 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 all right, like for instance, gas price raise tomorrow, then raise is same tomorrow. But when grass price drop, it, it take it take all next week when the gas price drop, it take it down. Those are things when I go down in a Jamaica. That way, he might ask what mechanism they're going to put in place to maintain them things that we can, people can get benefit when price go down and when price go up. No, no, no. That's another question of me that I asked. I was saying okay. to them, they could, remember from what Punku said, I talk about the printing of the money, you know, and I said that is, that is, that is the, um, the total opposite as to what they're meant to do. They should not be printing any money, whether it be new money or not. You cannot print any money because what's just gonna do is you're gonna put more money into the 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 the, 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 the um the population and the economy and in return the, the inflation will just continue to go higher we just stuck and stay one place what i'm saying to him is he's saying the inflation is going down and i'm saying that is not true that's a fallacy because if the inflation is going down why is the jamaican dollar continue to go down the Jamaican dollar continues to deplete. If inflation is going down, the Jamaican dollar would probably be stable or be going up. But we are seeing a, a depletion in the in the dollar. Respectfully, friends, the dollar has not the, the, the dollar has not really the dollar. You have to understand how a dollar how the dollar works, you know. A, the dollar is not fixed. It's not. We don't have a fixed exchange rate like Bobby. No one said. No one said that. But the dollar has gone down. Well, significantly no it has not gone down check the dollar where the dollar was trading two years ago it was trading somewhere in the in the hundred the dollar is going to trade depending on what is happening in the economy the dollar is going to trade within a band of let's say five dollars back and forth so so if you if you have a let's call it an anchor 150 dollars then it is going to trade within a band of of about five dollars within that band and that is what the dollar has done for about two 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 and a half years it has not really moved 
Jalik. So all our but but Jalik, the dollar they lose far. The dollar lose forty, forty dollar since the year start. Please, please, no, me and him have a dialogue, man. Me and him have a dialogue. No, please, me and him talk. No, please, me and him talk. Please. So, so you're saying the bond, the the dollar. So we're living in your narrative, right? So you're saying the dollar trades in only five dollar bond, right? In about a five dollar bond, if you if you anchor right, cool. it from so, one hundred and fifty. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let, 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 let me, okay. To one fifty six, one fifty seven. The most. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. So explain to me how does at the beginning of the year one Jamaican dollar um one pound is one hundred and eighty five Jamaican dollars, but today one pound is two hundred and ten Jamaican dollars. Explain that to me. We we were talking about the US dollar. We're talking about the US dollar. Hold, hold on, hold on, because the dollar. We're no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which hold on. is what hold everybody on, is man. talking about. Hold, here. brother, brother, hold on, the money. You know, understand me? I'm saying I'm talking about how the value is going down of Jamaican dollar. That's why everybody else are go up, brother. Cause we ours value nothing. Ours food dollar keep going down. Right. Hence, the the other, the other, no, I'm not moving the goalposts. I'm asking a simple question. The US dollar. Ah, cool. We just so, at, at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of uh, at the beginning yes. of the year, what was the US dollar? US dollar was about one fifty four, one fifty three at the beginning of the year. It has not moved. What is it? It is now about at one fifty seven. No, one no 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 one fifty eight eighty six. And listen to the piece again too. When me listen when me when me, when me my credit card away, my Jamaican credit card, then charge me. Me, you went when they charge me, they charge me one sixty three dollar. Yeah, yeah we, we know the banks are we know the banks are a little bit um so, so, so the real rate for the Jamaican dollar is one sixty three dollar. No, 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 that's, not the, that's not the the rate the real rate. They rap me there. The check the rates they rap me then. Bank of Jamaica. Yeah, the, dollar, rap me the, then. Dollar, the dollar is supposed to be somewhere in the region of about a hundred and fifty seven, somewhere like that. No, one fifty eight the bank of Jamaica trade me just come out like one fifty eight sixty seven cent. But I'm okay. saying and, when we use when you use the credit card, you know, and a one fifty eight then charge me, you know. Them yeah, charge me one sixty two. Because Why? We have financial institutions that speculate sometimes. Right? But okay. you expect the dollar to, to stay within. It's a floating currency. So it's not going to stay at one fifty, depending on what is happening in the economy at a particular time. Right? It could be coming down to Christmas when you have a lot of persons making purchases overseas or you have suppliers that have, they, 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 they're putting up, that this normally happens at the end of the year. They're going to be making big purchases for, for the Christmas season. The dollar comes under a bit of pressure, right? And it trades during that period. But if you notice, historically, this, the, the, the Jamaica Labour Party government, if you ask me, has, has done a pretty decent job with, with holding the dollar stable when compared to the the, the, the the opposition and that 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 is without question right and 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 you must all well on, well on, you, Richard, you must also add the fact that yeah right so yeah man i'm saying uh, when, 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 if you did if you're supposed to do the calculation between the two parties the JLP, since, since devaluation started in the 19, let's say the late 1960s, total devaluation would be $103 to the PNP and $52 to the JLP. It's not even close, right? Um, persons would normally start speculating on the currency the minute the PNP wins the, the government. But it just started in the 70s, not in the 60s, not in the 70s, 70s. Remember that poem I used in the 60s, in the 70s. I think they, 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 when was it introduced? It was introduced the last part of the 60s. They, they, they 69, call it 1969, we would change right. to, to, to dollars. Yeah, so in the 70s, so the devaluation right. so started. Start. And during them time, yeah. the, the dollar was more than the US. See me. Jamaica dollar was actually better than the US. Right, right. right. One, one. I remember you. In the 70s. You're right. You're right. But I, I take your point, Hugh Richards. I'm not trying to, to be lost on your point that um, the, 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 the Jamaican people, poor people, have suffered um, significantly when it comes to um, groceries. It's the same issue that is, that is dominating the, the U.S. presidential elections right now. Um, it's a global phenomenon. Um, and, and, and Jamaica is not immune to that because there are a lot of things we have to import. Um, the only thing I can say what that the government has done is that we have to admit that for the first time in the history of this country, we've seen tax reductions. There's, there, there has never been an incident instance before 
when we've seen a government actually reduce taxes the pnp has never done it we just mean fear and this government right so you you've seen in, in a number of ways in the, in the income tax threshold i mean no no more than a million dollars of a person's income is no longer taxed Right, um, the average person would be saving in excess of a hundred thousand dollars, more than that, monthly, based on based on um, the tax um, reduction. In a, in a number of years, the, the the PNP has never done that, right? And that has 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 brought some relief to Jamaicans based on the reduction in taxes. That that is a fact, right? The, the, the increase in, in the minimum wage that has also shown that the GLP has done some things to actually reach out to poor people and to do some things for poor people so we, we, we can't say that nothing has been done there's nothing you can do with imported inflation there's practically nothing you can do apart from increase your local production which the government has done with onions and with a, a, a number of, of, of crops with the agro parks a lot of that has been done but there's so much the government can do and no more all right, all right. finish out alex there's two points that I really want to um to, to take up on. The fact that you mentioned the reduction in income tax. For you to benefit from the re reduction of income tax at this time, you would have to be earning over $32,000 a week. So persons who are, are, are earning minimum wage does not benefit from the move the movement at the income tax threshold you talk about doubling minimum the, the, the movement of minimum wage minimum wage is tied to inflation inflation has moved from 2.35 in 2016 to 6.5 now and the value of fifteen thousand dollar at this time cannot purchase what six thousand dollar in 2016 could could purchase so how does that have, how does that help poor people? On hold on, Alex. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll give you your own. That is not. How does that Alex. affect? No, no. How does that? Please tell the man on the platform right now. How does that? How does how does, how does that help poor people? In 2016, one bread was a hundred and sixty dollar. The same bread now is for eight hundred dollar. How does the fifteen thousand dollar in minimum wage help poor people? That is what that that is the critical question, you know. That is the critical question. You add thirty three billion dollars on the budget taxation in 2016 to offset the one point five, and persons who benefit from that one point five would have to be earning over twenty five thousand dollar a week how much people that benefit never benefit minimum wage people yet still the movement of inflation is what is affecting people who use minimum wage and the government is not doing anything for minimum wage earner which is the majority of the workers so how does that help the, help the poor people so you're making the rich richer and the poor poor because if in a, in eight year the minimum wage move from six thousand dollar to fifteen thousand dollar and the fifteen thousand dollar cannot buy what six thousand dollar used to be because mini, because inflation rate at that time was 2.35 so how does the poor benefit from that why does the government take off gct off a basic food item so that the, the, the basic food item price will remain stable or go down a bit so that poor people can benefit and that is the, the, the problem between that is the reason why the people will always vote for the people's national party because while the jamaica labor party is balancing the book they are not balancing the people's lives both of them go hand in hand and if you cannot balance the people's lives while you balance the book you would be doing a disservice to the people 
The poverty rate is 20% at this time. Where did you get you that from, Mr. Mr. Richard? That is not true, sir. The no, rate. I do my own research, you know. Is and you Mr. can do your research. You can't come and put your play. Play. You have to. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, hold on, hold on. Jalex, Jalex, let me ask you this question, right? Quick question. You say during COVID, a, a sheet of ply was for $9,000. After COVID, the ply, the ply come down to $3,000. Mr. Cole mentioned, before COVID, a loaf of bread was for $160. Now the bread is for almost $900, right? So why is it that the ply would come down, but the basic commodity that everybody has to live with don't come back down? That's what Mr. Cole has tried to get, get across to you. And, and, I, and, I, and I, I, I explain what, what has happened over the period of time, that food prices, for example, bread, what, what is involved in bread? The biggest, a big part of bread is wheat, is flour, right? Flour prices, wheat prices over that same period has increased about, by about fourfold. It has increased significantly, right? And you're talking about things, most of the ingredients that go into baked products have increased. And I would want, Reedy can be a, 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 a Reedy is, a, is an independent person here. I have done the numbers, right? Because a, 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 a friend of mine who is a comrade also challenged me on this and tried to downplay what $15,000 can buy now. Um, wanting to say that 6200 can buy more. And I've done the numbers. And um, I know you don't live here, Mr. Hugh Richards, but a bread is not $800, right? You can get a bread in Jamaica right now for five fifty, six hundred dollars The same bread. So that is not true, right? But I have done the numbers and what I used, I went back and I used the numbers from the, 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 the consumer price index that was published, um, that, that the, the Ministry of Labor publishes every quarter, where they do a survey of the, the, the prices in supermarkets across the island. And they publish that on their website and I used that price coming all the way, I think I used about two years of it from 2014, it's there from about 2018 or something 20, 2008 or something like that they always do it and we use the prices now and without a question i do it several ways it can the fifteen thousand dollars can buy significantly more than what six thousand eight hundred can buy it can when you do it the same items you, you buy more and you have change Alex. And I can, I can send the numbers. I can send the numbers because I have it. I, did it. I can send the numbers to read it. Alex. And read Alex. it. One of the days we can have a, a bigger discussion about Alex. it to show that it's not true. Alex. And we should. Yes. Alex. Yeah. Alex, you live in, Alex, you live in Jamaica? Yeah, man, I live in Jamaica. All right. How much, how much was our bread 2016? I'd have to go back in my, in my, in my no, team. No, no. All right. Say $200. $200 for our bread 2016. I think we're we dealing with man, we are dealing with the man. Dalek, I could read the man. Dalek, I could read the thing, man. $80. Dalek, no, $100 for our bread, but I'll give you $200. Dalek, listen to me, man. You don't know, but listen to me, I said, Dalek. Listen to me. I'll give you $15,000. All right? You buy, me buy one bread 2016 at $160. That's it. Dalek, listen to me, man. You don't know, but listen to me, I said, Dalek. Listen to me. I'll give you $200. All right? You buy, me buy one bread 2016 at $160. And this year, at $800. All right? It's not $800 for bread. That is not $800. Dalek, 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 Jalex, this is not Jalex, man. Yeah, all right, not true. Where you live. All right, Jalex, Jalex, give me Jalex. All right, where you are. All right, Jalex. All right, you listen, man. Six hundred dollars. All right, Jalex. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You come back on up. I don't know market another. Yeah, but I mean, man. One person, no, the only man reason yet. Right, one person talk and allow the other person to report. So when you finish your mute mic, I make the other person open the mic. Because you see two of them go at each other and I make no sense, it's all confusing. Yeah, I'm
Everybody are tapping and go. So let's go fast and that. So it has to go so slow. Um, we, we can't sit down here, sir. We pan pan likes, brother. If we have a no, no, brother, so we do it. So we do it over here, So we do it over here. We have a conversation, man. The low it, no man. We soon have a man. Nobody are going to. Mr. Alex, you're new to this platform. And you should not put me on my until the instructions are completed, followed, and completed. So when you catch 80,000 likes, then you can't open your mic. If not, you're welcome to leave, sir. Mr. Richards and Jalix. One man talk, one man talk, mute, let the other man talk, open your yeah. mic because when I'm not going to go by it, right? It's not so good. All right, Jalex, may I go ask you a question? Can I go read your thing? I will deal with the thing. You know, never Jamaica, I'm going to come once, two times a year. All right, may I go ask you how much, as, as, how much for that bread 2016, how much I bread now? I bread, I bread was, as I say, I think in my list, I think I have bread at about a hundred and eight, at two hundred and eighty dollars for bread in 2016. That, that's the price I got from the, from the website, from the Ministry of Labor. Yes, man. A bread right now is, I'd say, I'd give you $600. I say 550 600 I hold some, hold some breads in Mandeville. I, I remember buying a bread not too long and I make sure I look at it. I wonder if I can find a receipt. I think the bread was 550 It was 550 Alex, we work with a national bread. We work on a bread that everybody buy. A national bread. $800 for a national bread. And it was 160 2016 <laughs> That is why, that is why, as I say, what I used, because if you use an individual um, situation, you might get a skewed result. That's why we use the average prices after the ministry call, must say, I think them call both the 14 parishes and get an average, which is a better figure. And that, that is, is why I say average. I'm going to share with you, I'm going to share the thing that I did, right? The comparison from 2016 and the, no, show is. the purchasing power of fifteen thousand dollars. Jalex, this is minimum this man. Jalex, Jalex, the average thing now I get you now. Because you call ten shop and attend if you come to average. Everybody know average work. I'm saying to you, a national brother most people in Jamaica eat is eight hundred dollar now. It was one sixty then. That is not How true. Much flour not now? Price for a national bread either. That's not. Read my, read my comment section here, people. How much, how much are you on the floor now? Mr. Richards, hold on. Let me ask Jalex. Jalex, the figures that you're giving to Mr. Richards, where are you getting those figures? Is it from the National Index? Um, the, price, consumer whatever price, the Consumer Price Index that is published by the, the, the Ministry of Labor. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me ask you one question now. Right? The Ministry of Labor published that. But how many persons are going by that? Because if you look at it now, when the Ministry of Labor publish a, 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 a listing for construction workers how many persons are dear to that you cannot go off of that and think about the basic man and i miss your labor publish that you know still you know but what, what i'm saying that that gives you a better because listen i'm going to tell you that i bought a bread for 550 and somebody else is going to tell us and then buy a bread for 800 dollars which which price are you going to use you can't use the price at the top of the scale that is why I said the average would be better to use. All right, all right, all right, Jalex. Yes. All right. So it is safe to say to you that the bread price double from 2016 to now. I would, I would give you that. Yes. All right. How much? How much? Where did I say about floor? Oh, oh, floor price. 2016 to now. I think. I think. Yo, may have it as you know.
No, man, you don't buy flow every day, girl, X man. No, me not really go. Um, that that is for the for the missus, you know. But uh, I, I, I remember, how much a pound? much was for a pound? A chicken back? A pound of chicken, twenty sixteen. As, as, as I say, uh, you don't don't put me on the spot. Allow me to 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 send the information to. to no, but Jalex, me the America. Yes, me the America. Yeah, Jalex, but two me send money go to me farm to buy food. Me know the price. I am going to. I am going to. I am going to update. This price because it, 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 when I did it, it was for 2023. Jalex, you Jalex, you just tell me all I got a six thousand dollar. Yeah, yes, so was, doing more, than than buy, more. was doing buy more, more than was doing more than the thirteen thousand. The, the, the thirteen thousand as you, the six thousand, the, the thirteen thousand was doing far more. That was when you know, Jalex, you said the six thousand five hundred dollars. You listen, me you now was doing the if six thousand five hundred dollars when the dollar was one hundred twenty eight dollars. Today, the dollar is one fifty-eight, and you tell me say the six thousand dollars, the fifteen thousand dollars. I'm telling you that that you you can buy far more with the fifteen thousand dollars now. By far, so, Jalex, I have done it three I, different I, ways. I, Jalex, the, dollar, the dollar go by by thirty dollars. The dollar, you know, goes by thirty, and a foreign exchange by everything. And you tell me the things cheaper. Or just be like a, that, that, that thirty percent how much? That me say the dollar go up at least at what? Something like what, fifteen or twenty percent. But Jalex, you get one. What you get one bread for now? You know, in twenty sixteen, you could have gotten four bread for that. No, that's not true. You stop there, stop there man. That is not true. Yeah. A bread Come in twenty sixteen was two hundred and eighty dollars. It was not a hundred and sixty dollars. That is not true. It was a hundred and sixty dollars, Jalex. I'm me left Jamaica. Twenty sixteen, me left Jamaica. It was not a hundred and sixty dollars in twenty sixteen. Not based on the prices I saw on the on the on the on the it was two hundred and eighty dollars that was on the website. I tell you something have the go take the whole of the price them down, you know. The Jalex. price is coming out of Jalex, you are, I guess you are guess the price is them no Jalex. I'm not You are not being thing. realistic. Wait a minute, uh, Mr. Blair, mute Mr. Blair. Mr. Blair. Mr. Jalex. So what do you want you come and say? I mean was twenty sixteen when me I left Jamaica, one pound of chicken was one hundred and sixty dollars. Oh. Put a one point chicken at, at three hundred and about fifty dollar. Yeah, I think I think chicken chicken price is about somewhere in that region. But so every chicken double, every literally every price you have said double since three last eight years. Yes. I have a question. And, 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 and the minimum wage has been tripled almost. Please allow me to ask Mr. Jalix a question, because you stated that your missus does the shopping. Is she not um, complaining? No, but of course, of course. When, my argument was never that prices aren't and aren't, aren't expensive, you know. I, I'm sure you're complaining as well wherever you live, right? It is expensive in every single country in the world. As I said earlier, it is the biggest thing. Grocery prices come up on every single poll in the United States elections, right? The increase Jalex, in Jalex, transport, you know, my Jalex, transportation price in America to move, and transportation price in Jamaica move. Transportation prices in the U.S. has moved because gas prices are higher in the U.S. Jalex, than they were. Jalex, Jalex, two hundred and fifty dollar, two hundred and fifty dollar yes. for truck on the bus them from New in New York. May I tell you that? Yeah, but but um, transportation prices two dollar, two dollar fifty you, not two hundred and fifty, two dollar no, fifty. Two dollar fifty, two dollar bus to New York, and that's that from way back when. Okay, oh, gas price go. Because they come yeah, to the subsidize. Them subsidize them price. Me never talk about that. Here the point you make it on Jalex man. Here we ask Jalex. JUTC prices has gone down as well. Jalex, listen to me, Jalex. Inflation, Jalex, inflation, after we don't go food alone. We are going to talk about food, we are talking about bus fare, and we are talking about lunch money. At this, we are talking about the $15,000, you know. And you all tell me, say, $6,000 can do more to a family of two, a mother and a daughter, than a, that $15,000. Could I do the same thing when six thousand could eight of, years ago? Of course, the, the six the, the fifteen thousand is almost three times the, the six thousand dollars only three thousand dollars less you know, Jalex, than three times. Jalex, what is something? And inflation has not nah, tripled. Jalex, you you Jalex, you way off the mark because as you mentioned a while ago, school children to go back to school and the parents is earning minimum wage. They well, have to take yeah. into consideration and say uniform. Me rest, my key, me rest my case. School me fee. And how all of those have to pay out of the fifteen thousand dollars now. I mean that's a second. You realize that? Food alone. Me not need food alone now. Yeah, but but you all of that has to pay out of six thousand two hundred dollars too. 
But I'm saying it was more exactly. affordable then. It was more affordable. It was more affordable. Yes, you, because you, the price of food was not that high, so you'd have but, less money to spend on food. And, and I'm telling you that the majority of Jamaicans right now, most Jamaicans aren't even earning minimum wage. It's a very it's a, it's a small, small minority of workers that are getting the dead minimum wage. <laughs> the average person right now Galix. Right, is taking, Galix, is so taking home uh, is taking home an average. I'd say the mini real minimum wage in the country is probably about eighteen thousand dollars a week. The real Galix. Galix. No. Galix. And, the minimum and wage is fifteen thousand dollars. The government said fifteen thousand dollars. You can't mandate nobody. That, you mandate everybody for pay not less than fifteen thousand. And I'm telling you that is what is the minimum wage. But, but so it's we it's can't it's tell it's about it's who is getting 18 from who is getting 20. Anyway, That's Blair, neither Blair, here nor there. The Blair, minimum Blair, wage is 15. Mr. Blair, Mr. Blair, Mr. Blair, I want to change this up there. Jalix, you mm. had about tax and them something and, and stamp duty. When was stamp duty on them to the job? In 2016, and don't. And, and stamp. 2016, don't. No man, not 2016. It was done by Arlesha in 2017. Yeah, 2017. So listen, no man, no man, 2016, 2017, budget man. Listen, me no man, let me don't. Let me no, say no, what no, no, no. 2017. Mute, mute, the clock. Mute the debunk, please. Mute the debunk. Mute the debunk. The 2016, 2017 budget. No, it's 2017, 2018 budget. Listen, me no Jalix man, please. Let me don't talk your debunk, me no man. The 2016, 2017 budget. What Arlesha come to Parliament? They come with a 33 billion dollar tax package. What him do? In cut the GTC one percent, drop stamp duty and all of them something there and cut them down. But what it did, it put GTC and more things right across the board. You understand me? I say, in, even a wharf, in cut some something a wharf, but when do a wharf in widen the net? So when in cut certain things and widen the net, so much so that thing bring him, him give us a thirty three point six billion dollar tax package. That is 20, that is 2016, 2017 budget. 2017, so from 2017, 2018, we don't have any, any um, no new tax. You see? So all of what you were saying now with the really, really stamp duty and that, those things was happening in 2017 and the reason why it happened, those things were cut. They, they cut like it, say, you, you give you, you give out one and then take with the next one. So they, they cut those things. Those logs the things cut, but then put it more on the, the things where, where they go in the Madrid plant, they say they want to move to what you call it um, direct taxing, meaning more people, like most people use them, them disposable earning a pay GTC on it. All of them something. So while the GTC cut 1%, they, yeah. then why in the GTC in it? Don't, may I ask you a question? Don't, that was it. Your time. Yeah, man, but you get it kind of wrong still. Um, they, they, while, while you're right that that there was some, there were no n net new taxes, and there were some they moved to some indirect taxes. They put on on the travel tax, um, those increased and stuff like that. Um, the 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 the, the stamp duty thing was not done in that budget year. It was done in the following year, and that was a clear reduction in taxes. Right? It was done the following year, so that was not a part of that tax package there. But the fact that you cut GTC 1% and widen it to, to, to put more things than the GTC, is, would you say that is a tax increase? It, it, it was, it was a, no, it's a tax increase. It was, there were no new taxes. There were you no new taxes. Dalek, if you weren't, Dalek, if you weren't paying taxes in an area, they gave up taxes in an area. And there were, taxes before. there were taxes applied in other areas external to Jamaica for the most part. No, 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 it isn't because you're, you're getting taxes off some other items. There's not a there's not a increase Jalix, in tax. Jalix, Jalix, listen me again. Jalix to, to be a net increase. Jalix, it Jalix. doesn't work out to be a net increase. Jalix, um, listen. Come with you. Come with you. Wait, 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 w
drop GTC 1% and you put it on and 10 items that were not taxed before. Isn't that a new tax to the consumer? It's an it's a it's a it's a tax to the consumer, but the consumer would benefit from the reduction in taxes. Listen to question again, no man. Listen yeah. question again, no man. Listen to question again and stop spinning on the Jalik. It is not a net increase in taxes to the Jalik, consumer. Jalik, me Jalik, listen, no man. If you cut GTC one percent, but you put it down and you put on we are paid on ten things that wasn't taxed before. We are now paying GTC. Is that a new tax on me, the consumer? It is a it is a it's a tax to you, the consumer, yes. New tax, a new tax. tax. But you also you also but, paying tax. No, 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 no. Is that a now? new tax to the consumer? Yes or no? With a lower rate, at a lower rate. Sir, no, no sir. lower or lower not is a new tax to the consumer. At a lower rate. Jalex, I was Jalex. Jalex, I was not Jalex. I was not paying tax. You know, Jalex. I was not paying tax on that pocket. I like two pieces, and I'm paying tax on the two. Is that a new tax for me? It is a new tax, but you also at the same time not going to pay tax at fifteen percent. Anyway, I respect him. That hey, I respect you. Somebody, somebody else, somebody take over. Right, Jalex, I respect you. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. All right. The tax, the tax, the tax. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold But Jalex, if you if you are paying tax on one specific item of ten dollar right the tax come down to eight dollar for the one item and tax go on to an additional four item when you buy five years would be 40 so you must be paying more taxes because you'd only be paying eight dollar and one tax and one goods and you used to have the next four where you're not paying no tax pan the expansion in the items that were, were, were taxed was a very small increase when you look on the amount of taxes that was given up especially when you look on on the fact that during that same year up um the average person that benefit from the income tax threshold increase would have saved in excess of a hundred and twenty thousand dollars up to hundred and twenty thousand dollars on their on their on their um paychecks right when you look on annually 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 yes annually let me finish, annually. Let me finish. Let me finish. And when you look on it that in that same year as well um there was a, an abolition of things like the business tax right the business tax is twenty five thousand dollars that every small business had to pay but right? Jalix, Jalix, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, nobody go back over that, nobody go back over that. When you look at because the, the one point I am, the one point I am land. going to make now is, is that the threshold, hold on, on Jalix, movement of the threshold, movement of property tax, stamp duty, does not affect in a positive way the majority of Jamaicans. How much people were employed earning in excess of $25,000 a week to benefit from the first threshold? Concentrate the, the, on the man who was earning $6,000 there. That does not help him. Property tax does not the, help the, him. The, stamp the, duty not help him. About, but at the, at the same time, the widening of the tax net to include basic food item is affecting him my brother when they did the calculations 220,000 jamaicans benefited 220,000 jamaicans benefited from the increase in the income tax threshold 220,000 yes. how much us, minimum us, how us, much minimum wage earner benefited be let us, no, let us tell me um, how much minimum matter. wage earner no, benefit. All you're talking about is minimum wage earner. We're talking about Jamaicans as well. We're talking about Jamaicans, right? That benefited. That's 220,000 Jamaicans. That benefited. No, but you let have the figure for Jamaica. You, Jama you, you have the figures, let, let the overall figures are the employers who benefit. Comrade, you will be here. Comrade, you will be here. Comrade, one question and then you can come in, Mr. Cole. 
how many persons why you think there was a big increase a massive expansion in real estate over the last six to seven years in this country everybody buying that had a lot to it it was cheaper to buy a piece of land but Jalix, Jalix, seven hundred thousand persons still live in squatter settlement. Yes, yes, Mister. Seven hundred thousand people yes, still Bader, live in largest, squatter settlement. The largest, the largest expansion in home ownership took place over the last eight years. A lot of persons were able to buy land. There's an explosion, explosion in in construction in this country, and that had a lot to do with the, that particular policy. We are the the how does that, that, that affect the small person? That does not change the fact that 700,000 people live in squatter settlement. And, 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 and that was still the case in 2016, Mr. 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 Blair. Of course. There was a big dent in that because Please. this... Because Please. One, one at a time. Please, one at a time, guys. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. One at I was also able to Mr. give Cole, let finish, Mr. Cole, Cole, please let him finish let him finish the prime minister under the new social housing pro program was able to give 300 jamaicans a house that did not have a house these things did not exist these things did not exist before but judge that up more of a eight-year period let the man finish let him finish let make him finish right please remember that it did not happen over the five-year period under um between 2011 and 2015 and it did not happen before so taxation this government has given back to the jamaican people like no other government the PNP cannot claim that it has done any such thing for the Jamaican people. The Prime Minister has also met Jamaicans and helped Jamaicans at, at receiving property. There is no expanding that to giving apartments in the inner city communities where persons can get a house, a proper house, to call, place to call home. Right? So while we have while inflation has, has battered the Jamaican people, there are so many areas where this government has actually come and tried to cushion some of that over the last period, including COVID when they were... But, 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 Jalix, Operation Pride, Operation Pride delivered 30,000 houses to people. Mr. Blair, make you finish my deal. Come right here. Can I get a talk, please? Okay. Finish, bro. Mr. Blair, Jalix, you can come in now. Yes. All right. All right, go. Jalix. Jalix. Yeah, man, I'm going to listen to my mute. Just go and talk. I'm going to mute. Just go and talk. JLP, no work. Under Operation Pride, 20, 30,000 hours. Um, underneath the Food for the Poor partnership between the PNP government for the poor people, um, 500 incident houses. It was bored every single year. That evidential facts with a mutual understanding between food for the poor and the government of jamaica right we have multi old um, um, housing development across the length and breadth of jamaica for civil servant and the ordinary citizen of jamaica mm -hmm. i do have the list with me to name them out Alex. 150,000 houses were built underneath the eight year under pg Patterson and that is reality right so when you come and come talk about um right um um about um two or three hundred hours underneath eight year underneath housing social program right that program was promised by the prime minister of jamaica in 2016 to build a thousand because it was at 500 Per year, and Mr. Only said, Promise the Jamaican people, say, I'm going to move it to 1,000 per year. Go back and listen to his speech. Right? Yes, it was board house, but it was house. So, what him do, he changed the concept from board to concrete and I deliver 300 house over the last eight years. Right? So, when you come here, I tell the Jamaican people, more people that get um, land title underneath um what program name again gary help me with a program the lamp right so don't come and try to wish wash the jamaican people and try to be your political pawn as you always been 
we had the track record to prove that the PNP at every time come into administration build more house than the Jamaica Labour Party. The eldest of 20 and they put me talk together. All right, all right. Let me, let me just tell you that um, the, the largest um, housing construction in the history of this country. Robert, hold on, hold on. I say you there one time. I say you there one time. I say you talk and then I can't okay. after. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to go to in a after you bladed me. Yeah, yes, Jalix. You see, when it comes to housing, there's no comparison with the People's National Party. None whatsoever. And as Mr. Cole just initiated a while ago, the Prime Minister said he would build 6,000 indigent houses in four years. You just said he built 300. You understand? The Prime Minister would have been have to be in power twenty-five years to build six thousand at the rate of how we're going. Because if you cannot effect changes to if affect the seven hundred thousand persons who are living in squatter settlement, then the paltry 50 or 25 houses are here. Now cut nothing. That not going nowhere. You understand? That not going nowhere. And there was indigent houses from the inception of a government in Jamaica from 1962. That is nothing new. That is nothing new. Until All you... Right can provide land, land title, and houses to effect changes to the 700,000 people living in squatter settlement. You have done nothing. Not to come and say that there's boost in land acquisition in Jamaica by the rich and the oligarchs. Lots of big housing project is going on. How much of that? is for poor people a minimum wage earner and person just above minimum wage who can purchase a house most of the houses building now is upscale houses 35 to 65 million poor people can buy that poor people can buy that you need houses between six and seven million dollar where people ordinary people can afford so that we can cut the squatter rate in 50% in any 10 year period. So don't come with that. You understand there is more separation and poor people know as a result of the JLP in power than the PNP in power. And that is one of the reasons why the PNP will win the next election because the people of Jamaica know that the projects that, that is what well, the projects that was instituted to benefit people in jamaica from 1972 until now was implemented by the people's national party the jamaica labor party just concerned about the dollar certainly not the dollar and the dollar strengthening only benefit the rich, not the poor. Because you balance the dollar and you don't balance the life of ordinary Jamaican. Let me, let me, let me. Mr. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's keep the current, current Mr. Blair fast. Huh? Hold on, man, hold on, man. No, my, my current Mr. Blair, Mr. Blair, the, 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 the strengthening of the dollar affects every single Jamaican. Whether you're rich or you're poor. Just want to clarify that. And, and the, the economy wants about go anyway. Um, more me me about me, me jealous look. I'm more jealous about something about most housing. So more come after him say that. Right, right. Um, a, a, a couple of things. Um, where that is concerned. For the for the first, the first is that it's not a matter of if or but or suppose. When you look on mortgages over the last eight years, better than the, the, the previous years under the people's national party when you look on housing construction whether by way of um the partnerships between the housing trust or, or housing trust run operations um exceed what happened in the previous eight years 
the facts the facts are the facts you know when you look on the collection right here we, we were talking about um, taxes earlier one of the one of the taxes that you can know that there has been an improvement in the economy is the same income tax even though the government would have increased the income tax threshold right to the to to to, to 1.5 over the last over the period of time since 2016 especially over the last four years four to five years we've noticed that income tax collections have increased increased significantly over that period of time why because there are 150,000 more jamaicans working probably most of those probably and wouldn't be contributing to that increase but the fact is income taxes have increased significantly which is reflecting the difference in the labor force in 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 2016 and now when between 2011 and 20 2015 16 the, the, the labor force lost 40,000 jobs and now we have actually increased job creation and to the tune of over 140,000 between 140 and 150,000 jobs so when you guys want to come and create a, a narrative like there is nothing going on and there's not been any good in this economy that is absolutely for the first time in the history of this country public sector workers for the most part are receiving a decent livable wage right and even the health sectors right now that they've just signed off on, on their, their, their overtime and there's another increase coming to the to the healthcare sector and to most groups in the public sector that do overtime significantly increasing the salaries of a nurse that used to get hundred and twenty thousand dollars a nurse is not carrying home less than three hundred thousand dollars now right most of the teachers that used to earn 1.5 million dollars is now taking home 2.8 million dollars right in every aspect and the, the post is yesterday the prime minister was actually at a, a, um, a site in 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 spicy grove in saint mary um where a big regular regularization program is taking place to 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 to, af, to tackle that same issue that that mr blair spoke about where 70 persons are going to get lots the government bought the land and is regularizing the persons on the land and there are several operations like that that is now underway as we speak and i heard mr cole talk about the lamp lamp two i am actually in some way on one of those um committees and i can tell you the most la titles that have been ever issued in the history of this country and any land titling program was on the lamp two right where almost four thousand titles was issued in one in one um calendar year so this this whole thing you, you, you're, you're completely dreaming mr cole and this thing about um about, right, Alex, about Alex, Alex, calm 500 now. um some of the houses that is still going on this is a Alex. program and supper, all of that that Alex, is still a program I... we're giving away board houses this is a new program still Alex. still giving away more houses so guys i'm here now guys i'm here now jalex may i a minute i have where did you explain me? Yeah, cause me here yeah, talk something about the most housing. Um, Mr. Mr. Mosley, we are coming at the back. So cool. Gary Mosley, no, Gary Mosley, I'm gonna squeeze in the back. Yeah, wait, wait, me ask now. Me don't talk. I'm going to talk about Jalex. Jalex, 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 me here talk something about housing. Jalex, you can name, name me, name me one community, one community. We be under this where the bill since 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 2006. Name one community we be under the Jamaica Labour Party. I'm not talking about the community. I'm talking about what is the community. I'm not talking about a scheme. I'm not talking about communities like a, like for instance, Olaba now. Olaba bill. Me can't tell much. Can only say jail bill. Can one know what part jail bill they must say now? Can me can't tell. Me live at Olaba 1995. There was only one scheme and a and a um villa. All right. My lemma old scheme or something. So we are telling about the 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 the, 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 the new abas, new abas one, two, three, four, and five. All them they start under the PMP. Start under the PMP, continue under the JLP, under the JLP them. They never suffer a contract or in for a long time. Where have we come from? Claymont size, Claymont Muse, Claymont Glaze, Plantation Island Meadows, Road Park. Um, let me see now. Um, Bowa Thousand Scheme. We are going to we are going to where where one them? Where them? Oh God, sure. Me too much, me can't even call it. But I'm saying, I'm saying, let me say them. You have to say since 80, you can't say no, so be long, so no, be more, so I'm not going to pay for this. So me have to just go, let me take some bread. I can't mean, you know, we are talking about. We are talking about the whole of Portmore, Britain, Greater Portmore, all them places now. 
put all them skin in the port more. You want to tell me say eight years. The JLP build more house. More be the port more itself alone. Tell me which part JLP build more house than port more. Me not about all of them. Tell me which part of Jamaica me can go find more house to build that will be the port more. Remember mute when you tell me which part that we can find them the house there. More house, we build that will be like well listen to me now. Um you have you have um Greater Portmore, West, North and Say, Britain, all them news, Cumberland, all them team that will be like Portmore. Tell me which part of Jamaica we can go see since 2016 till now, more house will be landed so. That's this alone. And then I see to you if you can show me where. Can me so the build most more everywhere now. So just tell me. Tell me where we can find them there. So, Jalex, so you may ask the question. So, more, may I wait for you to tell me? Can we build more house? We build more house for any time in the East Coast of Jamaica. You tell me no where. No problem. Let me tell you. I, I, you want me to compile a list? It's all available, you know. I can't compile a list. Let me tell you. Yeah. I'll compile a list. I, I, I can't tell you at the, at the moment. I can tell you off my hand all of these but it's, yeah, it's here the scheme, I mean, you can go go on go on the nhc's website or go on the, the priorities no, website no, no, no. and it will, it, it, it will tell you minute. all the construction Jalex, the last remember, minute you know? bill Jalex, Jalex, remember, the last minute bill and, 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 and land bill. the last thing nhc bill a land bill. remember remember the remember, last remember. thing NHC. Listen, Jalex, Jalex. listen remember, me now we listen we know Jalex, remember, listen man Jalex, listen Last scheme, no uh, 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 land will park. No more scheme in Chernobyl since 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 2000. I must say about till about 1998. Any Chernobyl, no more scheme. No more scheme to build by NHC. Them giant people build NHC scheme. So tell me, tell me scheme them. No, me I wait for you to tell me them. Now tell me them gonna, gonna compile on the tell me you must know. As I told you, you, say. you have you have you have you have the um you have what, what, what the government is doing now. You know they they. What the program name with what the, the government is also doing now is partnership partnering because it's partnering with because the NHT does not have the capacity to put in the amount of houses that the, the market needs. We have a we have a shortage of about 150,000 houses um, for the market what we need right now. And what they are, what they're doing is partnering with private developers so that the NHT so you are doing a development, the NEC will come in and they'll say, okay, um, build, build a hundred solutions in your, in your solution. Tell me something. Listen, wait a minute, as I tell you, I, 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 I can't I'm excuse you, Jali. Any moderator there can add Gary Mosley for me, please and thanks. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't right now, my brother, but I can compile that information and send it to the host. Because I only talk facts. You know, then tell us, I love talk about one of the most more, more important. We we'll stop talking garbage because you can't tell me no in a Jamaica. Mr. 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 Richard. Richard, Richard, the name. You I, cannot tell I, me no in a Jamaica where more of me more and more. more. No, we are talking since the 18th. So we we'll stop talking garbage. I will, I will, I will, I will. I will, I will tell you i did not say that Bruce. we build more houses than the people i just said we don't say we build more than any other government we don't say we build more than any other government no that's not that's that any other administration I want to years. administration in any other no but you don't you, you don't do like pj on you don't you don't do that be like pj anyhow yeah, because pj was there for 18 years i'm talking about all right on, well on on on. five year period over five well years well and a five year houses, period pj no so cool. houses, no no the most no houses hold on. built so cool, the most no. houses built in this country and a five year period was under andrew holness under the last and administration and i can I, I will i will put it i put my big thing on that the argument of poor, the process was that the team the jail people more old than any other government Ad administration administration the PJ was administration, administration. this was PJ was no, five, five years five years you are a child you are a child you are a child you are give me a talk give me a talk after after Caroline, Michael Manley. Hold on, hold on. No, hold on. After Caroline, what? You come up in the box. You want to talk? Yeah. All right, sorry. Is Caroline, you can speak. You can go ahead. Yes. Yeah. 
Miss Caroline. Is that me? Yeah, yes, Caroline. Okay, oh, sorry about that. My volume is a little bit low. Um, I think a lot of what is going on now is a lot of ego talking, you know, kind of like my dick is bigger than yours kind of thing. And I think we need to just get back down to basics where people are concerned. One thing that really got me riled up is when um, Mr. Mr. Blair was talking about poor people, his basic needs, etc. And Jalix is saying it doesn't matter. Somebody else in the comments was also saying, Mr. Blair, why are you talking about poor people? Why are you always talking about poor people? And I'm saying to myself, hold on, is this a rich country or what? Aren't the majority of people below a certain a certain line of poverty? Why is it that the Jamaica Labour Party never seems to be connected enough to people to understand that people are just absolutely suffering? Why is it that it is more important to say, oh, I built this number of houses and, I, and it's the first time ever in, 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 since whatever, whatever that this has been done and that, and the first administration to, 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 to lower taxes and uh, all kinds of nonsense when people are suffering. When are you going to deal with that? Right? When are you going to deal with your sort, the, the JLP's sort of apathy towards poor people? The person in the comments actually said, Mr. Mr. Blair, why are you always talking about poor people? And this is the sort of narrative I've been hearing throughout the JLP, which, which to me is a complete disconnect from what is going on on the ground. And this is exactly why we're going to lose the next election. You're coming off as a set of stoic, non-caring, um, non-feeling individuals who only business with on an individual pocket. And that can't work. Jamaica can't run so. Jamaica don't run so. Right? And I promise you, at the polls, at the next election, we're going to have a serious, rude awakening. Because Jamaican people have had enough of this. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I, am, I, I have to bring it back to basics, right? I, I don't have the figures to talk, and the this and the that and the whatever and the economy and the... No. People, right now, is $1,000 for one tomato. $1,000 for one green pepper. Right? That is reality. For the majority of people in this country, one bread is $800. Right? So, we could start from this, so, from the basic, the common man. We could start from this, so, and stop going off on all of this, who will build more house and whatever. Whatever. Right? Deal with the basics and have, some, have, a little, have a little empathy for people who are feeling it. But done this, so. And it means we better with us rest the argument about them something. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Thank thank you, Ms. Carolyn. Um Gary, Gary, you yeah. can go I can go ahead. I you know say I always think they all clear up still. But you no know, I'm good so still. I don't mean they all clear up still. But you always think. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Manley, you know, in a, in a 1976 when Michael Manley invent NHT, you know. Over 40,000 horses he man built from 1976, you know, to 1980, you know. And they say, first, him concrete house start coming, you know. In 18 years, you know, through NHT you know, and Giant Ventures, private developers and relocation, 2000. Operation Pride, indigent housing program, sugar sector housing, inner city housing. PJ Patterson bill that are up to 150,000 horses, you know, to be exact, you know. Right? Operation Pride alone, you know. Give out him, him, us, what? 58,000 to be exact, us, you know, to ordinary Jamaican, you know. So, you know, get that, you know, get that statistics there. Right? Uh, so, okay, I'll move on. That's more I say. Thank you, thank you. Can I just, please, can please, I just please, say the last thing? Can I just say the last Janet, thing? Because I probably have to go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, down to your yeah, yeah. Yeah. When, when you come to the last thing. Inflation, just, thing. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Let me just say the last thing. Miss um, Caroline, I understand and I hear your passion and I understand. You, I don't want you to think that. 
um, um, the Jamaica Labour Party started out, out of the Labour movement. We know what it is to be at the bottom of the, the scale. We know the pain that poor people feel and what uh, poor workers feel. That is how the Jamaica Labour Party started. It, it started out of a need to represent the persons at the bottom of, of, of the labor market. Um, so we know what that is. And I think there is, there's been this thing, I don't know where it came from, where we've, the JLP has always been seen as the rich people party. Probably because we have a lot of business people as opposed to the PNP that has a lot of lawyers and, 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 and all that. But the thing is, if you should really look and, and, and look at the policies of this government, it was a JLP government that introduced what they call the progressive tax system. If you earn over six million dollars in this country, it was Bruce Golden that increased the taxes on the wealthy so that they pay an effective income tax rate of 30 percent. Everybody has paid 25, right? We're so how is that we looking out for the rich? If you think about it, the policies that We have given we by way of stimulating the economy has been able to give a hundred and fifty thousand jamaicans jobs over the last period that is on the <laughs> that, that is why that is why let me just finish because i'm going to go well, no, 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 please because when, when you come with these narratives brother i can't understand how can you guys ignore so one bread was two hundred dollar i know it is six hundred dollar Brother, the in, when, when the bread was $200, the, the inflation rate was 2.5%. Now it is 2.6%. Brother, that is three brother, times. The price. Um, no, I bread was never $200, $26. $150. Hold on, I'm talking about the man. Hold on, Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. As I said, brother. You can't beat around the bush and talk about everything with the government do this and the government do that. Brother, the inflation is still prevalent and people still are suffer. No, no, why only can't understand that? Yeah, we can't understand that. Hold, hold yeah. on, the man, irrespective of who is in high position and blah, blah, blah. We know it's a money that Jamaica now, but we are saying to the populace, to the to the majority of Jamaican, to the average Jamaican, they're not really feeling this economic growth for you, like, where everybody are talking about. And I just want to now understand, and a lot of people now, a lot of people are misconstrued in the economic growth. Remember, there's an inflation, the economic has to, the economic will grow. Well, a lot of people don't understand that because things are go up, so the, the, the minimum wage has to go up is a must, it's inevitable. Well, yeah, people yeah. understand so, that. Is it, is it, uh, so Yeah, go on, Jalix, go on, Jalix. What the, the, the argument or the question is, is there more suffering in Jamaica than there was in previous years? To the average the man, probably to that, yes. To the average probably man, yes. and, and no, and I would disagree with that. I will vehemently disagree with that because the all the, uh, wait, no. Let me let me just make, let me just finish that point, and I will disagree with that. If you are telling, if I'm telling you that in 2016 the unemployment rate was 13 percent. You have to go there. No, you have to go no, there. No, no, you have to go Jalix, there. Jalix, 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 hold on. Jalix, hold on, man. Po hold on. Poverty rate. Hold on. Brother, Jalix, you have to go Jalix, there. Jalix, Jalix, please. Just hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. And just hear me out, right? Forget the stats for now. Forget the stats. We're dealing with reality. We're not dealing with a perception of what they're selling us. We are dealing with reality, brother. We don't go to a supermarket with this amount with, with, with 20 grand. You know, I've come out with bully for food. Okay, let me and that ask is you a just question. a fact. Let me ask you a question then. Let me ask you a question. As I said to you, there is not much a government can do. There is not much a government can do with regards to imported inflation. What the government can do is try to cushion what you can do is try to cushion the impact by reducing taxes. When you subsidy, when you subsidize, when you subsidize, let me just let me just government can't subsidize the foreign thing they are coming. Wait, no, no, government can't subsidize them. Subsidize, government can't subsidize. What you can do is reduce taxes. No, Jalix, you can't subsidize. You can't subsidize farming in your country. 
You can't put something in the why the government is not the government. I don't think that is an area that the government would want to go. So what the why? government has decided to do? Wait, let me just make my point before and 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 let me get. Some of the things you can't we can, we cannot control the price based on the fact that it is in, it is imported. What we can do as much as we can is to increase local production which is an an an, an avenue that the government is, is pursuing and what we can do is give persons the economic ability to deal with the increases which to some extent has been done salaries have been increased due throughout the public sector and the private sector because there are some teachers now at my 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 at some at my daughter's but, school, but Jalik, had teachers. Jalik, Jalik, no, no, Jalik, no, 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 my brother, and the iron the iron 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 food food item iron 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 they, 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 they took off they took off GCT of of goats of breeding stock for goats and for sheep and for, for, for horses because there was a depletion of the breeding stock. It was a one-off thing to get in proper breeding stock to build back the racing industry that employs over a thousand persons in the racing industry. It was not to give anybody. It was for the same survival. For the survival of the of, of the goat industry. For the Jali. sheep industry and Jali. the horse industry. So don't make it look like this was for some some Jali. 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 anything. Jali. This is for to save a sector that was almost being wiped so out the because iron, the, the, the most iron of them, the car was in his arms. But Jalex, they didn't take off taxes of iron cars. Of course, I can explain that to you. Let me. Importation and mostly German vehicles. Europe, you know, Europe, Europe. Let me explain. Let me explain what happened here. Europe, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 but don't put that out there. That's not fair. That's not fair. Europe, Europe, Europe came to the government. No, Janix, no, you can't go explain that. It is, it is a fact that European vehicles, the taxes was reduced. The the was reduced was that, I you know, in let me explain let me explain what happens no man is not, and yet is not, still the price of flour has man. not been reduced go back to caroline and, and friends they are saying nobody going to end this one not yeah, just for the no but we have to respond to that that is not this is long go to a caroline and and friends they are saying about basic food item at this way stop going banting where poor people can't afford that no but you can't put that in the atmosphere and just leave it it's a passing comment because it's Regardless of what you have to explain, the normal man now go import a BMW, brother. It's just no, man, it's not, no, the government did not take off taxes. It was a reciprocal arrangement between the EU and the government. It's a reciprocal it, arrangement. The EU, but it's still, it's still EU, happening, but we're, we're just saying, we're just saying. Jesus. Hey, let me explain, man. We can get a certain. No, we don't we want to go into that. No. You can get a certain amount of products into the EU based on we reciprocating with a certain amount of products from them. That is the deal. It is not that we move um, something off of luxury cars. The only thing, one of but the that, biggest okay, imports Jalik, that we define, had from the European Define the product which cars. we get into the European so, Union. So, 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 so we define would be able to the products which we put in the European we, Union. Are we, are, define are we those now, products. Now just leave it hanging like that. Mr. Blair, are we now to take advantage of, of that agreement to get more products into the EU? It's a reciprocal agreement. It is not something that we just get up and just take off. Uh, so, your message, your message, right? And it's all coming from Frenchy. We can ask him a question. Come on, one of these one on the country. Hold on, man. Hold on. Yeah, can I ask you a question, Jalix? Hold on, Mr. Cole. Hold on, Mr. Cole. Hold on, Mr. Cole. Because more, more I talk to Jalix. On a, on a level. I said, Jalix, the reason uh, why we start this everybody. entire yeah, the reason we start this entire conversation is because of inflation and how it is how much it it is affecting the Jamaican people. 
you are saying the inflation is going down and the, 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 the 13,000 and blah, blah, blah. And we're surprised that it's a fallacy that, that don't make no sense. We don't want to go off on the tangent and go into high vehicles and blah, blah, blah. Right, right, right. We want to adjust the matter. And me and I said the government, no, I don't know, because the government did increase the, the, the interest rate. I mean, I care what we're not going to say and blah, 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 but the government did make an effort and, and increase the, 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 um, the minimum wage, sorry. The, the, interest rate, the minimum wage. The government did make an effort and increase that. But what I say, there and is so much sector more. salaries as well. Hold on, and hold on, on compensation. Okay, okay, that is all good, but what may I say, there are so much more important factors in which the government could have easily, easily implement Tell me that please. Is so much. But number Tell one is them. forget the printing of the money. That is the that is the most Lord important Jesus. one. <laughs> Rip Boy, you just stuff on up. Are you mean? Stuff on the printing of the money. Jalich, but what, what Jalich, is the issue with Jalich, the printing Jalich, of the money, Jalich, though? Jalich, you know what? You know why I'm finding it very dis disingenuous. You understand the principles of economics. For you, for come yeah, here and try to explain to me. But we just showed that it was not inflationary. No, 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 no. We just it wasn't inflationary. Jalich, it's the principle not that you know. The principle. Listen, uh, listen friend, to me, I said, Jalit. The same Jalit, time he's money. The same time he's still printing more money. He's still well, printing more well, money. Well, 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 All right. Jalit, so what is that farmer? You, you, yes, thanks. Go on, frenzy. Let me control it. What I said, Jalit, is you can't... You, you're in a feel, almost a feeling economy right now where everything's sky high. People are saying, yo, the world want to know how you make a recover from COVID and blah, 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 re, 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 and... Personally, me just can't see what they're talking about. I cannot see it. Me can't see the big difference to say, oh, you know, say we were in so much of a better position. Or, 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 or. Remember, you know, half of the world, you know, they don't give them citizen money and ask, I'm not talking about some change. They must fund the citizen life. They must pay for almost everything. And everything was on a standstill. I don't think Jamaica did that. Jamaica not have no state, um, no state pension, no um, benefits program where they are feed people every day. And people are saying, Jamaica Jamaica gave, no, wait, no, Jamaica no, 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 that sustain people's standard of living. Jamaica don't have that. They don't have subsidies. They don't have a program where you go to them and you say, boy, I'm not working on them. Say, here, well, all right, we're going to pay your rent, we're going to pay your dish, we're going to pay. That does not happen in Jamaica. I mean, why you tell me otherwise? Because it does not happen. I'm not talking about subsidy. Hence, why Jamaica could have easily recover because the, the amount of um, financial burden where the, the, the country like the USA and the US and the UK have and probably Canada. Jamaica don't have that burden. So of course they're not gonna recover better. They have less to recoup for. You understand? Right, so right. a lot of people not have to take into consideration. Okay, let's say Go on, talk. Right, two things. Jamaica to the tune of I think it was about five billion dollars gave four hundred thousand Jamaicans ten thousand dollars to help. Of course you don't have it like the United States. We also had a subsidy where hotel workers that was decimated got $25,000 per fortnight for six months, right? $50,000 to bring them through COVID, right? So Jamaica did do a, quite a bit during the COVID period to help with, 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 with what? And let me, just, let me just make this last point. Let me just make this last, last point. Wait, wait a friend. Let me just make this last point. This whole thing, you keep on talking about the printing of money. I explain how this whole thing started. When the government started to release the cash, Right, Prelate, it was a very remember slow to release. Remember, tell me what I asked Alex a question. It, yeah, man, I want to ask very, hey, I'm here It was, it was a very slow, slow and deliberate release. When they were coming with the first batch of money, them say okay, because everybody they are trying to find the ATM, them to find the new money. It was a very slow release, and as soon as them put in a certain amount, they would take out a certain amount of the old currency. That 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 to the extent that no, you can't find a whole five hundred dollars right now. You can't find a whole one hundred dollars. So there was no net increase in the money supply because they know they've worked out these things. They know for do it. So this thing that you keep on saying about printing money, they, it was important for the government at the time. They saw it fit that they needed to in, in, improve the, the change of currency because right, it was too so easily defrauded. 
I'm defrauded. I'm defrauded if it was the right time. So this thing about inflation and the money, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. You speculate. You go, go on, I'm just something. No, wait, no, Mr. Blair, Mr. Cole, 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 Mr. Jalex, the, the the PM is 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 actually Minister of Economic Growth and Job Creation, and I kind of want to point out something to you, right? In the BPO sector, you have a lot of irregularities going on now, where people can't get like proper entitlement, they can't get proper leave, they can't get proper vacation and benefits, and it's because the PM and the government cannot step in and regulate the BPO sector because it's the BPO sector that is driving the growth in jobs. It's not any action that Andrew or anybody in his cabinet did. Call centers came into Jamaica and call centers are what actually boosts that, that income tax revenue. It have nothing to do with any policy. The Andrew wants to do that. You understand and because Mr. Cole, of that now, Mr. Cole, Mr. Cole, mute, Mr. Cole, mute. Because of that now, the call center industry actually get away with a lot of irregularities, and the government cannot come in and defend its own people because they're afraid of of scaring them off because they have actually failed to create new jobs. So I have to clarify that it's not any action that the JLP government took. It's just Disney, Amazon, Google. Everybody just gone in LMIC countries, India, Jamaica, other Caribbean islands. It, it don't have nothing to do with the JLP. Second thing, in terms right. of like housing, yeah, is a very nuanced topic. Me, me, me not agree with that still, but... Give me a second, no. it's a very nuanced topic. You know why? When you have the Prime Minister and, and his wife, they're professional developers. When you enact housing policies now, right? It actually is directly benefiting them, you know. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? And the houses that are being sold now, they're not for the average Jamaican. And, and that's the truth of the matter. It, the regular Jamaican cannot buy a house right now. So even when you want to, and I'm a professional, and if me for buy a house now, I'm going to scratch my head two times. So you, you can't necessarily set up because it's almost as if you have two Jamaica. You have the Jamaica that the regular man live, and then you have a brand Jamaica. So yes, Andrew is developing brand Jamaica. It look good. However, majority of the population is not benefiting. So you, you, you kind of have to be... And remember, you know, I'm speaking this as a professional person myself, you know. So I talk about my world, but I'm cognizant that I'm not the only one that lives in Jamaica. You have a lot of people who can't do what me can do. And even for me do what me can do, it costs me a lot. So you can't just throw figures out there. There's a lot of context to it. You get what I'm saying? This does not benefit the majority of Jamaicans. And then you cannot... Andrew has actually directly driven up the price of real estate in the Jamaican marketing and the government is not stepping in to regulate it because every politician is a developer. And that is not good for the country. Most of the houses that are being built now, you can't buy them. And that's the truth. So you have to be kind of careful. Anyway, people are accident will come up here. <laughs> accident. Yeah. Big uh, up Andrew, it's a great it's a good, um let me just go fast, 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 please. Look because that Alex, that quote asked somebody up. The Alex, yeah, go on, Mr. Cole. Yeah, Alex, you talk about the, 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 the COVID money that the government received. The government only pay out one um call it nine hundred and odd million dollars. Right? Out of one billion dollars was allocated to pay it out. The proper of entertainment art no get no money. The tourist sector barely get anything. And the mass of the public barely get anything. That is evidential facts record. Me not come with no false news, brother. Go and do your research. So don't come here and go and like say, yeah, come, come talk to a, 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 a idiot. And that um, one those, those million dollars was paid out. <laughs> That's completely right. Go and do your research. Ten ninety five percent of the money for a court which require re recover were not paid out. Mr. Cole, that is not true. 
Alright, alright. Don't that come here and have a sweet talk. That's not true. Anybody that can that just that Google it now. This is my response to RJ. They are to a quote. Yeah, yeah. My response to it as well. Uh, Middle said, the COVID grants, you can just Google it. The COVID grants is about, four, I think it was 4 billion or something. The, 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 the care program for the hotel sector was billions of dollars. It's almost six months that they gave people a $25,000 subsidy for two. For two Per, per fortnight. Um, so that is not, that, no, that, that, that's not true, Mr. Cole. Anyway, but, as, but, as but, RJ but, just um, said a while ago. Before you go, before and, you go no, further, no, 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 Let me just respond to RJ. Let me just respond well, to well, RJ. Man, just one second. One because interjection. You down, you know, the like, money that right? was spent in the yeah. health sector is still right. not accounted for in COVID. Yeah. No, we know what's a good death, so we know what's a good death, so you distract me. Let me just finish with RJ. RJ and Frenzy, so don't think I did right. I mean, RJ and Frenzy. You need maybe so, you need so, after, after RJ Frenzy and Carolyn. Look up to them three people there. I jump right, the so, basic, then go down to basic. And that thing must go. Nobody go to nowhere. Basic. Alright. So the so the three the three um sectors that was driving this the, the growth in jobs over the last over these one hundred and fifty thousand jobs. Um well the public sector was one of them. The the, the construction sector having experienced a significant increase in housing construction. Um, both high end, I know that there's a lot of high end in the Kingston area, I think, but there are also construction from just normal Joan the street and also car centers, the, the, the BPO sector, and the tourism sector has expanded significantly over the period as well. So, those are where the, the, the majority of the jobs came from. It's not just predominantly car center jobs because a good portion of car center jobs are jobs that would not be taxed. At the rate, and we're seeing big increases. So, 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 I'd, I'd probably say probably a good half of that are probably the car center jobs uh, some in that region and tourism man, construction make up, make up, make up, make up the remainder all right so here the 75 so, listen me you now 75 thousand out of the 150 now nah, pay tax now nah, pay um, income tax a, how much do you need to do it because a portion tourism. of them, a portion of them, because there are some car center jobs that still no, 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 no. Get majority car center don't pay tax. Good good the yeah, I'd, I'd probably say seventy percent of it, but there are sections of it that would get good. Money. All right, all right. So and, five percent pay tax. Wait now, wait now, wait now. I'm going to reach somewhere, now, man. How much in the hotel sector? Now? How much percent? Oh, that is one hundred and fifty thousand, seventy-five thousand gone to to car center. How much in hotel? In hotel? Yeah, hotel probably that be another another. Let's say probably another. 50 out of that. All right. And, and, and out of the 50, what are the, the 50,000 there? How much up your income tax? Mm, I'd probably say a good 25, 30%. Okay, of the all right. Hotel so we got thirty five percent. We got thirty five percent. Out of one hundred twenty thousand up here, up here income tax. Did I say? Yeah, pretty much. And then the other rest of them now. Remember, say the rest of them now. Upon the construction work, okay, you know, six, listen on yeah, yeah. six thousand dollar day, thirty thousand yeah. dollar week. Then now pay tax now. Nah, so none of them now pay tax. When I can't talk anymore. Sorry, Charles. Hold on. Let me ask my question, Mr. Charles. Hold on. Let me ask my question. Right, Jalik, cool. so the illustration we had just give right with the percentage of old job increase, right? Is it Go fair ahead. to say then? Hold on, man. Is it fair to say mm -hmm. then that the the policies of the prime minister? Uh, the implement implementation that he's done had nothing to do with job creation. Is it fair to say? That? I, I just told you that there's um thirty thousand of those jobs would come from construction, and that would be out of, out, of out, of the the out of the hundred and fifty. Out of the hundred and well, on a well, on a man. Out of the hundred and fifty thousand jobs that was created, you're saying the prime minister. Wait, no, no, no. I, I'm not. I'm not. Well, no. well, let, well, let, well, let me answer brother. the question. Let me answer the question. You can't answer the question. I'm not saying it because uh, Michael, no, we can't get. No, but I would have question. answered the question a long time from no, RJ. Man. Thing in well, Canada. Man. I'm saying that. I'm BPO's asking you a question. Just walk in Jamaica. Jalik, what, what, what well, said, man. That is rubbish. Jalik, 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 go on, friends. I, so you're saying, yeah? may I ask you a question now? Is it fair to say that the government of Jamaica hasn't really created any job for the Jamaican people in the magnitude of job creation? No, I don't. I don't understand what you guys saying. I mean, the fact is, there, there's a there's a there's a centre being built in Mandeville right now. 
right? That is going are to be implying. Please, please. I'm answering the question. I'm answering the question. I'm answering the question. Just give me a chance. Without the monologue. No, give me a chance. You can't tell me if you answer my question. Just allow me to answer. But Jalek, that's Jalek. Just swing one can at you, Jalek. No, I'm not just saying. That's a straightforward question. I'm going to answer Jalek. Jalek, let me just answer. Let me answer the question. Jalek, let me answer the question. Let me just answer the question. Yeah. Friends, ask me my no, Jalik, I'm, I'm asking the question, so let me let me no, answer. No, 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 let me let me, let me, let me just ask you again. No, no, you need to answer me again. Just let me answer. Oh God, you're you're, you're, go, right. you're going you're going you're going you're going end up in a blow wall New Year before you answer the question. Let me just exactly. ask you a simple thing. Simple question, where yeah. Did is it fair to say the Prime Minister or the government no? did not really contribute to this job creation that we're making mention to the government is taking listen, credit for job listen, on the, listen. On the government of jamaica is the current government of jamaica now is is cre is um campaigning on job creation but we're asking is it a fear it's a fair statement is it fair to say that the government of Jamaica did not have nothing to really do with it? You only All right. To All right. Let, me, let, me, let, let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. Right? And that is why I was talking about what is happening in Mandeville. Part of the issue, the biggest issue that was having prior to 20, I think it was, they, they came onto the report. The big issue that they were having, why the, the, the BPO sector was stifled and didn't grow larger in previous years, was because of the absence of appropriate space, factory space, appropriate space for, for, for the building of BPOs. There was always big demand. And one of the big things that the government came in and did through the factories corporation and through partnerships with private individuals and that is what is going on in Mandeville is talking to you about the, 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 the boss Mr. Skengdan is that the man the man the man pumped they got the factories corporation to build out thousands and thousands of 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 space of of space so that um of of appropriately built space so that um so the um car centers could actually come in and take up this space and that is why you had this big explosion in the council over the last eight years that is what is happening the dbj yeah, yeah, was but, the one but, that stepped in hold on 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 hold 2,000 jobs right in Mandeville here. So, a big portion of what happened in the industry was the action of the Prime Minister hey. through the factories corporation. In the, in the tourism is. sector, in the tourism you sector, let me let me just 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 let me it was this government through the, the minister of, of 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 tourism that went on a, a, a significant um investment drive right and got a significant amount of these um hotel rooms that with the explosion in hotel construction <laughs> down there a significant of, a amount well, of hold that hold was hold based on, on, was hold based on, on the hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on it Jalix, 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 um, we're having a discussion. We're not this. having a monologue. So, so, please. So, so, so. Please. I say this Daniel, last Please, thing. Jalex. If we had lost 50,000 jobs, you all would be blaming the government. If we Daniel. had lost 50,000 jobs. Daniel. So if we have created 150,000 jobs, the government should get the benefit. Don't, 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 don't but, Jalex, Jalex, hold on, hold on, hold on, Unemployment rate was 13% in 2016. It is now 5%. All right, but Jalex. Jalex. I have to go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Jalex. Jalex. Man. Yeah, 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 talk too long. long. Yeah, no, I have to go now. I have to go. Make him go. Make him go. Make him go. I have to go. I swear. Make him go. All right, Jalex. Nice having you. Nice having you, Jalex. Bless up. Yeah, but you see the point I want to make. yourself, really. Big up yourself to the horse, really. Big up yourself, you all are the friends.